Good day everyone! Welcome to our online class discussion. Today, we are going to discuss Stenberg's Intelligence Theory and WICS model. I hope all of you will listen carefully because at the end of this lesson, there are assessments that needed to be answered. So, without any further ado, let's proceed to our learning objectives. Our learning objectives is, first, to discuss Stenberg's Intelligence Theory and WICS model, and to apply WICS model in real-life teaching. To begin with, let us know who is the proponent of Intelligence Theory and WICS model. So, the proponent of Intelligence Theory and WICS model is no other than Robert Jeffrey Sternberg. He is an American psychologist known for his theories on love, intelligence, and creativity. He was born in New Jersey on December 9, 1949. His interest in psychology began in early life. After experiencing test anxieties and doing poorly on an exam, by this, he realized that the test was not an accurate measure of his actual knowledge and abilities. Now, what do you think is successful intelligence theory? A successful intelligence theory highlights that students have the ability to succeed if they are thought in a way that better fits their patterns of abilities. What is the successful intelligence theory points out? Alright, let us discuss what is the successful intelligence theory really points out. According to Sternberg, the theories of successful intelligence points that some students who do not do well in conventional courses may in fact have the ability to succeed if they are taught in a way that better fits their pattern of abilities. On the other hand, the skills people need to succeed in their careers do not always closely resemble to the skills needed to succeed in college courses, especially to introductory courses. Also, it contends that intelligent behavior arises from a balance between analytical, creative, and practical abilities, and that these abilities function collectively to allow individuals to achieve success within particular socio-cultural context. Now, what do you think are the four skills included in successful intelligence theory? So here are the four skills included in successful intelligence theory. The first one is the memory skills. Under memory skills, it helps the person to recall facts and information. It also helps the person to retain the knowledge acquired that is needed to begin thinking creatively. Kids often rely on both incoming information and information stored in working memory to do an activity. If they have weak working memory skills, it is hard to juggle both. This can make it challenging to follow multi-step directions. For instance, your child may not be able to mentally go back and recall what sentence the teacher wanted them to written down while also trying to remember how to spell out the words in that sentence. Take note, one cannot apply knowledge which he cannot remember, according to Omeldo in 2016. The second one is the analytical skills. It helps the person to determine if a certain idea is good. Analysis is very important before one can think of a new and better ideas. Also, analytical skills are important because they allow you to find solutions to common problems and make informed decisions about which action to do next. Let's proceed to the creative skills. It allows a person to come up with a new idea to answer a need or solve a problem. Also, it allows a person to make one flexible and able to adjust to changes in one's situation. Creativity gives birth to a new and better solutions to problems. Without creativity, 
we will get trapped in things and ways that don't work anymore. It's important because it helps you look at problems and situations from a fresh perspective. Creative thinking is a way to develop novel or unorthodox solutions that not depend wholly on past or current solutions. It is a way of employing strategies to clear your mind so that your thoughts and ideas can transcend what appear to be the limitations of a problem. Creative thinking is a way of moving beyond barriers. As a creative thinker, you are curious, optimistic, and most of all, imaginative. You see problems as interesting opportunities, and you challenge assumptions and suspend judgment. You don't give up easily, rather, you work hard. And lastly, the practical skills. It enables a person to apply what one has learned. Also, it allows one to carry through or implement a plan. It promotes experiential learning, encourages self-learning, and familiarizes students with tools and equipment that he will be required to use. Take note that practical work is a good change from the monotonous lecture method. Practical intelligence, on the other hand, makes us apply what we have learned. It gets us actually to do what needs to be done. Now, what is the meaning of WICS model? WICS model stands for Wisdom, Intelligence, Creativity, and Synthesize. According to Sternberg in 1968, the basic idea of the WICS model is that citizens of the world need creativity to form a vision of where they want to go and to cope with change in the environment. Analytical intelligence to ascertain whether their creative ideas are good ones. Practical intelligence to implement their ideas and to persuade others of the value of those ideas. And wisdom in order to ensure that the ideas will help achieve some ethically based common good over the long and short terms rather than just what is good for them and their families or of course their friends. How to apply WICS model? Number one, when teaching analytically, you make your students use of their critical thinking skills. For instance, you teach mathematics. Evaluate the validity of solution to a mathematical problem and discuss weaknesses in the solution if there are any. Number two, teaching creatively. It is important for you to encourage and sustain your student's creative idea. For instance, you teach physics. You let the students discover the fundamental physical principle that underlies all of the following problems each of which differs from the others in the surface structure of the problem but nothing its deep structure. Number three, teaching practically. Have in mind the real life situation where students can use what they learn to meet their own and also others' practical needs. For example, in athletics, put into practice what you have learned from teamwork in football to making a classroom classroom team project succeed and lastly teaching wisdom it is important for your learners to balance one's own needs with the needs of other people and also that of the world of the environment for instance education sa pagpapakatao should parents expect their children to take care of them when they are old of course maybe so much with that Week's model was successful for teachers and their learners because number one, it celebrates the differences of learners through a supportive learning environment. Number two, it made students remember. Number three, it built on strengths of the learners. And number four, strengthened the motivations of the learners. Wix model taught us an idea that the role of a teacher is not only to educate the mind, but to educate the soul as well. Now, let's have an assessment. This will serve an exit slip to end this video. I hope you learned something to answer these questions. Number one. If 
is a type of skills that helps a person to determine if a certain idea is good. Letter A, memory skills. B, creative skills. C, analytical skills. And D, practical skills. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. The answer is letter C, analytical skills. Let's proceed to the number 2. In the acronym WEEKS, what does the letter I stand for? Letter A, indigent. Letter B, intelligence. C, international. And letter D, intermediate. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. The correct answer is letter B, intelligence. And now, let's proceed to the number three. What type of skill that enables a person to apply what one has learned? Letter A, memory skills. Letter B, analytical skills. Letter C, creative skills. Letter D, practical skills. Five, four, three, two, one. The correct answer is letter D, practical skills. Let's proceed to the number 4. Blanc was the proponent of successful intelligence and Wick's model. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. The correct answer is Robert Sternberg. And for the last question, it is a type of skill that helps a person recall facts and information. Letter A, memory skills. Letter B, analytical skills. Letter C, creative skills. And letter D, practical skills. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is letter A, memory skills. Thank you everyone for answering our assessment. I hope you have learned something and enjoyed our online discussion. Have a nice day. Goodbye.